Good morning, everybody. All right. We're getting ourselves live across the board. All right, there we go. So, happy March 30th to everyone. I am um, trying to get a little bit more light over here. I don't, I, I'm not as pale as I look right now. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm not as pale as Sheena. Yeah. You know. <laughs> But, so, for starters, y'all, last week I apologized. I feel better now than I did then. So, here we are. So, with that being said, we're actually going to cover stories from the last two weeks today. Um, just to kind of catch everybody up on current events. Um, I feel bad because last Saturday was National Cuddy, Cuddly Kitten Day. And I missed it. Kidding day? Oh, kitten got free cuddles. Yeah, yeah. Only on that day, on March twenty third. Today you is um. Kitten, you set your eyes out. <laughs> they are mean little suckers, aren't they? But they're adorable, man. They just play and play and play. And anyways, um, today's National Doctors Day. Um, I don't like doctors right now, so I'm not observing this holiday. <laughs> It comes down um, to the doctor. It's also like Black Saturday. You know what I mean? Tomorrow's Easter. So, um, yeah, don't forget to hide your eggs, people. And don't forget where you hid them. Because as a property manager, last year I did an egg hunt for the kids. And me and my maintenance man were still finding the plastic eggs up until like last month. Um, and he was like, why didn't you write all this down? And I was like, eh, my ADHD didn't let me. We'll just find them. So this year, we're not doing an egg hunt. We're doing Meet the Easter Bunny, so. Oh, wow. Did you yeah, have girl. candy in the plastic eggs, or they were empty? I did. No, nope. so full of melted old, candy. A year old candy in the egg? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. And he um he enjoys telling everyone, so you know, there's that. Um <laughs> so you we got have, lots you should have you should hide like one with like a fifty dollar bill in it and then forget where you hide it at and see. Who who gonna provide the fifty dollar bill? Because just so we're clear, guys, you know, <laughs> like these little events and stuff, they're either donated items or they're on me. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't, if I put a $50 bill in one, all the rest going to be empty and not get no candy. Yeah, whoever um, finds <laughs> the one with the $50, you can probably find it one like three months later. Oh, I found $50 in the egg. And if I did that, my maintenance man would go find it. He would conveniently want to participate in the Easter holiday and he would track it down. Uh, um, he would probably run all over that maintenance probably. He would like, uh -huh. find it. He would. He would hands down get it. Um, another thing I just want to throw out there, um, and we don't usually do this, is for those of you that ow, are paying attention to um, Sheena's page, her business page, she has the side hustle. What is it called? I'm sorry. The side hustle startup guide. Side hustle startup guide. <laughs> um on sale right now and it's only gonna be on sale for a couple of weeks so y'all get in there and get it asap um because it has an abundance of information um and if you're thinking about starting a you know a little side hustle you know you need a little extra income y'all jump on there and get that um because it's worth every penny that you're gonna pay for it um but i just want to throw that out there she didn't know i was gonna do that so i just kind of put her on the spot but y'all yeah. go um y'all go check it, it out and, and right Sheena, now, at some point today, will share it over to the page so y'all can see it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to share it to the page definitely today because you know what? I'm feeling good. Even though I didn't have my coffee, I'm still feeling good. So for this week, and I might do it for two weeks, but every person who purchased the book this week will get a gift card to a restaurant. So 
I want y'all to get y'all side hustles. Okay. Right. I want y'all to get this. So if I see you purchase and you got to put in your email, don't forget to put your email in when you purchase because you're definitely going to need to get your, your ebook download. But I would personally send you a thank you for purchase and shout you out um, with a gift card and offer you a session. So at a discounted rate so listen we're going to get this started so i'm going to help y'all get y'all all, all right home. see i didn't even i didn't even know all that y'all yeah i just knew listen. i saw that her i saw that because of you know the original price went out and i saw that and we all know that you know i'm sheena's editor so i am um, i saw when it originally came out so um, I knew the startup price and then I saw this week that it went on sale and that's why I just wanted to let y'all know about it. Cause you know, it's a, it's a really good deal. Um, so yes, I, I just wanted to put that out there. Yep. I'm launching <laughs> the sale and the gift card. Cause I want everybody to have a book because I will be launching, um, some courses that teach you how to do side hustles, um, the drop shipping and print on demand. So if you want to, um, learn how to do those things and um, make those generational wealth. Pay attention to my page because, um, like I said, my Learning City Academy is going to be launching and I've got courses coming that's going to help you get to where you need to go. So, yes, pay attention. If you're not following me, you're missing out on a lot of free stuff as well as um, some good stuff, too. So make sure you make sure I'm following you in Sheena. that group. Wealth Warriors group because I'll be dropping gems in that group. Um, yes. So yes, pay attention. Good, good things. I'm feeling good this week, so I might just be sprinkling some some good uh, vibes throughout the week. Sprinkling. You might not know. I might give away like a four day, five night trip. You know, who knows? When I get a good money. Hey, can you I give me one of those? Can you get me one of those trips to um? Camden, South Carolina. I got some family up there I want to go see. Camden. Well, today probably would have been the day you needed to be here because we got the Carolina Cup. But I don't know. They got not Camden on. Oh uh, no, I don't want to be part of the Carolina Cup. That sounds like traffic and police to me. Yeah, them state <laughs> troopers lined up for it too. Mm -mm. Yep. Yeah, nope. I'm good. We down here in Georgia today. We got the um the um. We don't got nothing in my mountain, anyways. No, I mean I'm the I'm the coolest thing going on on my mountain. Well, we do need to come meet the Easter Bunny. You want to go to Vegas? You want to go to Cancun? You want to go to Miami? I don't want to go any of those because stupid National Doctors Day is messing with my travel plans, man. We'll go to Atlantic City. You want to go to Atlantic City? Who want to go to Atlantic City? Who's listening to the podcast right now? Who wants to go to Atlantic City? Make a comment. Say me. I'm feeling generous. I might throw you Atlantic City trip. So just so we're clear, now that she said that, I should probably be watching our comments, and I forgot to. <laughs> so I'm pulling that up right now, guys. I promise I'm going to watch the comments. Because um, she's like, yeah, anybody right now? And I'm like, oh. You know, it's like And early. guess Everybody's who's like... on here? Our favorite listener. Who's listening? Miss Sherry. Sherry. Is our strong supporter. Support, see, Sherry. You know what? If you don't like Atlanta City, I'm gonna send you a list, and you can choose your own city to go to. Since you're a great supporter, put 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 your own. Go on the let's see. Go on the Facebook page. Send a message to either one of us or the Yin Yang with your email address, Sherry, and I'm gonna give you a trip. She's just giving up. She's listening to us. Oh, we got definitely got to entertain the day because she's listening to us as she gets ready to go out of town for the day. So she's probably going out of town for Easter. All right, Sherry, we got you. Yes. We got you. Hope you're getting ready. Yes, Don't do your Sherry makeup. Every week. You know what? Do you go, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. From Coffee with the Memories. <laughs> I didn't know that we were required to dance on this episode, so I'll, I'll try to shimmy a little bit, shimmy. but Listen, I don't have rhythm. Well, you know, I was like low key trying to work out a back spasm. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for pulling that out. I was doing a little shimmy while stretching my back because, you know, I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> 
All right. So we're going right, to jump right in, y'all. Let's make fun of some news. Let's make fun of some news. Y'all better stay tuned because you never know what I might feel like doing in the morning, especially. I feel good this morning. Surprising because I didn't have my coffee or pizza. Oh, pizza okay. Pizza for breakfast is awesome. You know, it sounds awesome and everything, but like all I can eat right now is like without feeling icky later is like um, bread. Well, pizza is bread with stuff on it. Yeah, but the stuff on it has grease and stuff. And apparently, um, all right, so I'm going to just tell you, I got to have my gallbladder taken out so that y'all know. Um, but apparently my gallbladder don't like anything with grease on it right now. So. So, yeah. Do you use plain toast? You can't put no butter on it, no nothing? I mean, no butter? butter don't bother me too bad, but it makes me nauseous. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, Virtual hug. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, bread and water is kind of my life right now. I'm sipping you through know this what? coffee I'm I have. You a restaurant gift card so you can go out and get some real food. <laughs> this, she is in a given mood today, y'all, so we're going to shut her up because she's going to give away all of our all of our stuff. Right, I am. Let's talk, let me make fun of some, some news. All right. Let's, Sh- Sherry was me. laughing. She said she got some leftover Pizza Hut in her fridge now. No, um, not Pizza Hut. What kind of pizza you be eating? Girl, I eat, um, like, there's some, like, the real... Hey, hey, I got a question. Your little Caesars be having them little round new things? Oh, my God. You know, Adam had me go get them as soon as they came out. I want Ooh, to like try them so bad. They look like little quiches. You know, the little... Uh, yeah, I, so they look like that, but it's like pepperoni pizza, little muffin bites. I want to try them so bad. So I, when bad. you come here, I need you to bring me some because we don't have a little Caesars. Wait a minute, y'all don't have a little Caesars? Y'all have no. a pizza joint? Like, do y'all have a, like a pizza joint that somebody? We have pizza? a Pizza Hut, and then we have um, Four to Five Pie, which is a pizza place. Uh, we, we, I'll take a fortified that. pie is like a luxury pizza place. It's like forty dollars a large. He might be a real Italian. Is he a real Italian dude? Like, because he charges forty dollars, he might. I want some. He got. That's because the tourists will pay it. Is it good? Is it worth forty dollars? I do not want to speak ill of a local restaurant on a national platform. So I am choosing to keep all comments to myself. Plead the fifth. Amanda's <laughs> pleading the fifth. <laughs> all right, I'm coming doing a review. All right. Listen, I, um, Amanda's local. But when I come visit, I'm not local. And nope, you're, you're, you're a tourist. I, I go to restaurants. Like, listen, me and my son do date nights. And we go sit down to eat. And if your restaurant is not up to par, we will talk about you. Okay, and if I'm, I will snap some pictures and put it on Facebook if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So, like, just keep that in mind. I will come check you out, though, but just keep that in mind. Hey, hey, okay? Just saying, just saying. All right, let's get into some stories. I feel like talking crap. All right, so we're mixing two weeks together, y'all. So this is going to be from March 15th to March 28th. Um and the first one is all right so there's a reason i brought all of these too so i'll go ahead and tell the story and then i'll be like okay so this is why i brought it all right so riley um is this kid and this kid went missing now when i say kid i mean he's younger than 30 um so and this this is a kid like um college age okay so he went out to this bar. Um, he had two drinks and then two glasses of water. He then gets up and stumbles out of this bar at like one thirty. Off of what? Oh, he had two drinks. Okay. Two yeah, drinks, two. but they were beers. And then he also had two glasses of water after. Somebody has something in his beer. So I was already thinking that too. But he stumbles out of this bar. 
All right. And then never makes it home. So then they find his body in the river. That's the setup. And within three hours, the police said, we don't think there's any foul play. Cover up. But on top of that, his debit card was found on the banks of the river. So you mean to tell me that this man, debit card, came out of his wallet and floated all the way over to the banks of the river um, while his wallet stayed in his pocket? Cover up. They're covering up something. Cause that's definitely but what could they be covering right? up? And that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, what is it that they're covering up? Like, do we think a police officer did it? Or do we think it was a police officer's it's kid? Possibly. There's some police officers that's crooked that do stuff and try to cover it up. But I think it's a setup from the start because, <laughs> listen, I was 21. And I consumed some beer during my college days. And I I don't know what kind of beer y'all drinking, but you getting stumbling drunk off of two beers and two waters after that? Like, so there had to be like a roofie or something in his drink. That's what I think. I think it was a setup from the beginning. Yeah, I think it's a setup from the beginning. But I want to know who set him up to have the police already go in. Nah, no. no this is no a small play. town. Um, this was in I don't remember if you have the link up. I know that you pull them up a lot. Yeah. Sherry's saying he had to have had money and someone knew it. Yeah. They probably thought he had cash on him, but he probably didn't have no cash, just his debit card and got mad and threw his debit card down, push him in the water. Look at his picture. He look like he's a smart little dude, too. Oh, why did I do that boy like that? That's what I was trying to figure out. He look like he had a lot of stuff going for him. He shouldn't be in there bar drinking no beer. He looked young as crap, though. I don't see where it says where it was coming from. Well, it says Sheetham County. I don't know where that's at. In Nashville, Metro. Oh. Oh, Tennessee. The reason this made national news is he was coming from Luke Bryan's bar. Do you know who Luke Bryan is? The country singer? I know Luke Combs. Luke Bryan? Um. No. Well, it's a famous guy, but it was his bar. He was coming from his bar. A bar that he owns. It just sounds set up to me. Like, if I was a detective, I would have been like, something ain't. Math ain't mathing. Math ain't mathing on this one. Well, so what did he want to say the cause of death is? He stumbled and fell in the accidental drowning? What? Yeah, they say he drowned. So he stumbled out the bar and stumbled to the lake. He was so drunk that he dropped his debit card and then stumbled in the water. He d- no, took his debit card out of his wallet and put his wallet back in his pocket and then stumbled. And then in the stumbled water. in the water, yes. So he must have had to read his debit card out to the water. Maybe he thought he had to pay a toll to get in. <laughs> you see, the math ain't mathing. Math ain't mathing. <laughs> well, talk about math ain't mathing. Is it who's our number two Martin story? Is over there the, the sheriff over there? Like, let me stop. But listen, y'all ain't our number two that. story. The math isn't mathing either, and that's why I want to talk about that. Matt, I, I know you know about this, the Baltimore Bridge. Oh, uh, my father had told me something about that. Yeah. So but listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little bad. bit about this because I've been watching the crap out of some of these videos. People on TikTok. They've decided it's a conspiracy. They're actually showing in their videos on TikTok where one, two, three, four, there's four points where you can see right as the, um, right before the ship actually connects to the bridge, all of a sudden you see these four sparks go off and people are saying that's dynamite. People are saying this was a setup too, because this ship... You know, it was traveling at 8 
miles per hour. It went around the bridge like it did a U-turn to come back to the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Lost power right before it got to the bridge, and that's what made us smash into it instead of go under it. But right as the, like, right, like seconds before, like a, a second and a half before the ship hits the bridge, you see these four sparks across the top. And then the ship hits the bridge, and then all those four areas collapse. So TikTok is claiming that this is a government blown up bridge. Just so you know, government, TikTok is on to you. Mm. I was the like trying to pull it bone. Like maybe the 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 ship got caught on a wire, and y'all see the sparks before they hit the bridge. But having that same spot collapse right after the sparks sounds fishy. Right. If it was just a spark, we, I would just think it was like some kind of electrical charge. But the fact that all those spots are the spots that collapsed right after. It hit just made me go, man. Really? No, no, Why is the no, government no, doing this? More, but I think math, man. What y'all trying to do? Yeah, this um, this math really isn't mathing. Be more. I need y'all to get it together now. I don't think Be more had nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, what is that bridge? So you know a little bit about Baltimore, right? Yeah, a little bit. Do you know what the bridge connects? Like, does it connect two different, like, areas? You talking about the one that collapsed? Yeah. I'm not really. I'm trying to wrap my head around the one that actually collapsed. But I think you know, there's one right there where the bay is. And I think that's the one, I don't know, I'm, that connects, like, Virginia, the D.C. area, and Baltimore. Or is that not So nobody like, is thinking, like, this is some kind of political thing because it's, you know, the year to vote again? You know, every, yeah, everything happens. There's always a natural disaster on um, an election year. You know, I never really noticed that. Like, it's close to election year, we always have, like, a little national, something really big happens. So they probably... Yeah, last time it was COVID. Weather. Usually we have, like, a hurricane that's, like, category 15 to come through category here. Category 15. And mess shit up for everybody so they can use that. But we really had nothing like that. So they had to create one. So they had to go in there and create like this massive thing that happens, you know, on election year. So that's why they had to blow up the bridge. <laughs> Casualty of war, Amanda. Casualty of war. I know. I'm so naive. I'm so naive. Um, Trump did it because he didn't want to pay them fine. Well, let's go into number three today. <laughs> who watches youtube i used to i don't have time no more but oh yeah, I, I, like girl, I listen to true crime off youtube all day long um but there's a youtuber all right he has 50 million subscribers named elvish um i had never watched the videos prior to this um but he um he's been arrested for allegedly, let's say allegedly, he's been arrested for supplying snake venom to be used as a recreational drug at raves. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't, I can't stand the silence, and I, I really hope for those viewers that listen to this, instead of watch this, that you could see Sheena's face. Um, because like, you know how we, you be like, we're gonna see how long Sheena makes us explicit, and we're not even thirty minutes in, and I'm about to, I had to pause because what the fuck? <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah, so they like raided a party. 
They interviewed five people who all immediately said it was him. Um, so he just giving up, like, why? Okay. First of all, who tests out snake venom to see if it's gonna, they're going to get high off of it? First of all. So let me start by saying this guy, this YouTuber became famous. Have you ever heard of Big Brother? Yeah. The show? He was on the... Um, the Indian version of Big Brother. And so that's where he became famous. Um, but yeah, when they raided that party, they came up with nine steaks that were like cobras and 20 milliliters of snake venom. Um, but if you Google snake venom, what it is, is it's so dangerous, it causes hallucinations. So you rather try to kill yourself? To hallucinate? Listen, you really want to... No, I shouldn't say that. I was about to say, you really want to hallucinate. Like, really? You could just... I don't even know what to tell you. Snake venom is not it. Snake venom... You want to hallucinate yourself all the way to the grave. So you think it was him then? That did it? That gave it out? Is he the owner of the snakes? So there's not a technically an owner of the snakes. Um, there were nine snakes confiscated from that rave. But Is there were five rave? people that immediately named him as the person. Oh, well, he going down. Especially if it's his party, too. Um... But y'all, this... I want to know how that goes. Like, at what point in your life, like, have you... Listen, y'all, I've done a lot of things. I'm 38 years old. All right? I partied. I partied hard through my 20s. I did. I'm not ashamed of it. It it is what it is. I don't do those things no more. I've grown. I've learned from them. But I don't think I've ever partied so hard that someone felt it was okay to approach me and say, Hey, lady. I want to try some snake venom. How do you get rid of snake venom? How do you convince someone to take snake venom as a hallucinogen? Girl, to party? you know what kind of generation we're going into. <laughs> what was he like? Oh man, I got some liquid Xanax for you, homie. You know, we're, <laughs> like... we're losing common sense is is going to be an extinct. And in another couple of years, common sense won't be a thing. It'll be an extinct. It'll be something we just remembered that people had. Because this ain't it. I just, I can't. Yes, Sherry, this did happen in India. It did? Y'all ain't got no weed over there? Like. Well, they do, and it's legal. So, like, y'all just doing snakes now? Like. I think it's because the hallucinogen. Who wants to, to hallucinate like that? Like, what is that? Like, I don't know. I never hallucinated. Like, I don't, I don't like know. if you ever talk to somebody in America that has done a lot of drugs, ask them about like doing mushrooms or acid. Those are hallucinogens. And so they might be able to explain what snake venom's like. I haven't done those things, so I don't know. Um, even in through my party years, I, nobody like, could convince me to take something to make me see things that weren't there. Yeah, I see enough ghosts as it is. I like people, <laughs> people be like, I don't know how they would approach that. Like, especially with someone like me, like, hey, man, you want to see a purple dragon? Like, no, not really. Like, I'm trying yeah. to party. The dragon will mess that up. Like, like, I understand. Just get you a drink and go about your business. Why are you trying to do this stream? Like, what is this? Y'all that's not... Y'all that bored? Like, what, y'all ain't got no soccer fields in India or some, some arcades or something? Y'all really bored over there. Y'all just too damn bored. Y'all need a movie theater. I, something. I don't know. Maybe that's have you ever been to? Have you ever been to Raven County, Sheena? Because we don't got... We don't got none of those things. <laughs> y'all ain't out there testing out snake venom. If y'all well, no, are, because I don't 
I don't need to come visit. Y'all got snakes out there like that. I'm, I'm, I'm good over here. If y'all doing shit like that in Raven County, like. Right? No, no, they don't. They don't do snake venoms. If they knew it was a thing, they'd probably try it. Um, yeah, the bears. Just give it to the bears, right? Yeah, I just, I just can't. I just can't Sherry y'all. said, "Cause we ain't stupid out here." <laughs> right, Sherry. <laughs> we ain't stupid. Um, <laughs> so, another thing that I'm about to blow your mind with is it something stupid. D- nothing stupid. I know. What my fo- favorite thing in the world word, is that, um, that last story was stupid. I like I don't like calling things or people stupid, but that was stupid. I'm just saying that was um dumb as hell. I should okay. I won't say stupid. I'll say dumb as hell. Okay, exactly. I feel like that's gonna be what you say about this next segment. It's dumb as hell. Um, I'm gonna start this with everyone knows my favorite thing in the world is animals because people suck. However, I'm really concerned for this stingray. A stingray? There's a virgin stingray. How do you know it's a virgin? Because it was born in captivity and never been released. Oh, okay. It's in a tank by itself. No, it's not in a tank by itself. But it's in a tank. They just found out I was pregnant. It's Guess what it's in a tank with? Y'all mixing me this species again, ain't it? You got new species coming. It's in a tank with a shark. So either we are about to create a stingray shark hybrid. Or this stingray, which is possible, but very, very, very rare. This stingray has figured out how to impregnate itself. And if so, it'll be the first one that's ever been done in captivity. So either way, we're about to make science, y'all. As soon as this little stingray has its either half shark, half stingray baby, which I'm really curious to see what it would look like. Yeah, me too. And if it is a half stingray, half shark, I want one. They're going to start... Making stingray shark babies? I don't know. I mean, if this it's one survives, like, maybe. It's going to be like 2.5 million to have one, though. See, I thought that species couldn't have, like, no. interspecies couldn't keep the Survive. kid. Like, yeah, they're just like humans. Like, if you mix the wrong blood together, it's not going to, like, type A, type O, type of, well, type O can go with anybody, right? I don't know. But, it's like, some. I thought we couldn't really do this. It's some kind of underworld shit going on. But if we're going to start mixing species, I got a list of animals I'd like to see mixed. What would you like, like to see mixed? Don't uh, say nothing like a bunny and a fox or something because I'll punch you through. Like. Okay, so what about a rhinoceros and a zebra? That way you have a zebra striped rhino. I can paint you one, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, I also kind of would like to see like a like a hawk, um, and a komodo dragon. So the komodo dragon can fly. Yeah. Yeah. Be kind of like a dinosaur. Okay, um, yours look fun. Like, I would really, like, I would watch that just to see that come out. Because that looks, like, interesting. Not not the rhino and the zebra. You can have that with the the dragon thing. That's my favorite one. You know how big rhinos are? <clears throat> okay, how about a long word for hippo? But it won't be striped. If you mix it with a zebra? So you can mix three of them together? No, just uh, let's just do a hippo and a zebra. Hippo and a zebra. 
I mean, they call hippos mud dogs. Mm -hmm. So it'd just be like mixing a dog with a zebra, right? Except it'd be really big. And then I could have one in my backyard. It has to be fenced in. My backyard's fenced in. So I can have a hippo? Sure, why not? <laughs> Baby, <laughs> Sheena said I could have a hippo. Mm -hmm. As long as it comes out looking like a zebra. As long as it has stripes. A, that's going to make us some money. Like a zebra? If you had a, like a hippo that looked like a zebra, you can probably just have your own little zoo. Where people charge people. I mean, people can. It's just called a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Y'all doing too much. So, Sherry, I did know much. that about stingrays, and that's kind of the problem, that the meaning the young are hatched from eggs that are held within the body. However, that's why they're not understanding what could have impregnated the eggs. So that's just a little bit of understanding from that. But, um, all right, so I'm going to get me a striped hippo. We're gonna have some shark stingrays. I wonder I wonder how that would look. Like it would be would it be like a stingray with a fin on the top? Like a shark. It'd be like a flat shark. <laughs> I don't even know, but I'm like, we have to follow this story because I really want to see a picture of the shark stingray after it's born. Well, since we're talking about animals. I want to talk to you about New York. Ooh, what New York did now? Now, you know, Florida always be the one with all the crazy people going on that got like crazy animals and be doing crazy stuff. However, since 1990, there's this man named Tony. And Tony's had a pet. It's been his guard pet. He's been living in his house since the 90s. Can you guess what kind of pet it is? In New York, in the 90s. He probably wanted to be like Scarface Head and stuff, Tiger or some shit. Oh, that's a really good guess. That's a really good guess. It, however, is a, an 11 foot, 750 pound alligator. Get the fuck out of here. In the middle of New York. Isn't it? Yep, the alligator's name is Albert. <laughs> and he kept him in the house? Yeah, and um, up until, and this is the scary part, up until 2021, New York was giving him a permit for it. To keep an alligator in the house? Wow. <laughs> However, in 2021, the court shut down because of COVID, and he wasn't able to refile for his permit. And so they just kicked in poor Tony's door south of Buffalo and took his alligator because he didn't what? have the permit no more. He lost the permit in 2020. It's 2024. 2021. In 2021. We're still, it's 2024. Like, he's been going without a permit since 21? Yep. And y'all just now tracked down the alligator? Well, and Tony is giving his word that he's going to fight to get him back because he was unable to file with the courts during COVID. Um, so it should have never been able to lapse. So they should have had no reason to be able to come get it. But um, yeah, Albert is an 11 foot alligator. It's um, Tony's guard alligator in his New York house. Albert probably like, what the hell is going on? Why are you taking me? Well, they said they were going to take him to a sanctuary um, and stuff like that. But I don't think Albert knows how to live in a sanctuary. He's lived inside an apartment his entire yeah. life. He probably had his own room, his bed and everything. He probably has stuffed animals and all kind of crazy shit. He probably has a better life than I do. He going to have, he going to get over there to those outside um, alligators and they going to kill his ass. They probably, because he probably stuck up. Albert probably stuck out. He fancy. He's a house alligator. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he... 
I wonder if he dressed yeah. as alligator, how people be dressing their dogs and stuff, like with like hoodies on and like his own t-shirts. Little sweater. I want to save. I, I want to save Albert sweater. shirt. Oh yeah. If y'all want y'all cool. save Albert shirt, y'all save let me know. Albert. They're nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. Yo, what if he um. gets Albert? What if, what if he gets? What if he gets? Gets the permit renewed, right? And they have to give him Albert back, but they switched Albert accidentally, and he doesn't get Albert. He gets Carl, and Carl eats his ass up when he gets back to the house to just switch that, not switch that birth, but switch. So he has. I. You know, I just want to point out that um, Sheena's a writer, so. Everything to her has some kind of background conspiracy. <laughs> um, As a back do you do you think that he would know if Albert was switched out? Though I mean, him and Albert have lived together since the nineties. I think That's he'd be like, able to tell. Yeah, Albert must have like a birthmark or something, a tattoo, so you you know you get the right alligator back. Like how you distinguish between alligators? Ah. Uh- I don't know. Do they look different? I ain't about to find out. I ain't getting that close to an alligator to tell if it's different from one alligator to the next. <laughs> Maybe they need to put a bracelet. You know, on a little. Do you think band. Tony put a band hmm. on on him? Do you think Tony used to make his alligator roll over for treats? <laughs> that would be hilarious to watch. Well, and how do you can't tell them to sit? They naturally lay. So maybe he would be like, down. stand. Lay down, roll over. Or fetch me a, a Coca Cola out the refrigerator. Man, could you imagine an alligator trying to fetch you a Coca Cola? It would, it would accidentally bite into the Coca Cola and drink it. It would accidentally bite into it your might hand. E- I was going to say, it might actually even it. bite your fridge trying to open it, open it. Like, alligators are some big. I wonder what he was feeding it. Zebras. Like neighborhood kids. <laughs> Zebras. Albert. Jewy <laughs> Zebras. I need Albert to get on here and do an interview with us. Right. I have questions. I, I need you. to know how big his room was. I need to know if he was well taken care of in that household. Just like defects. And then if so, I say we release the alligator back to Tony. Give Tony back his alligator. Right. Y'all don't let him have it since the 90s. Why are y'all taking it away 30 years yet? later? Well, y'all, y'all ain't opened up the courts yet? I thought we was back to normal processing. Has anything really been normal processing? I still haven't seen a 24-hour Walmart. Oh, them bitches is gone forever. They just wanted the shit to happen, so they have to stop doing twenty four hours. Walmart whatever. probably paid them to release COVID. Yeah, they they got happy on that one. They ain't got to stop people. Them people don't want to work anyway. When you go see, Sherry there. brings up a good point too. Like, did did Albert have an indoor pond? Something. Right, because I thought they had to have water. Like, that's a been a he had a hot tub probably. I just, I don't feel like Albert was living in the best conditions, but if he was living there for 30 years under a permit, then he had to have some. Um, Mr. Tony, sir, um, Albert's dad, um, we would like to know if we can come and tour your property and see that Albert was living in good conditions um, so that we can fight. You can just email me some pictures. She's scared of Albert. I'm not scared of Albert. I will hug him. Um, I will not. So she she won't even come to the house. She I'll hug Albert. I'll I'll be Albert's friend. But yeah. I need to know that you I'll, was taking good care of Albert before I fight and, and make myself a shirt that says "Save Albert" or give Albert back to Tony. Um, I'll wear the shirt now. And why both of them got mafia names? Albert yeah. and Tony. Albert and Tony. Y'all sound like y'all in the mafia. Tony, are you in the mafia? The, the, Albert probably ate him a couple motherfuckers. I don't know if I trust this. But Tony, it's cool. I don't care if you're in the mafia. I'll be your friend still. Um, I, I just, and I also want to know what size shirt Albert wears so I can make him one. Um, 
but I, I'm gonna need specs on where his arms are you compared use to my human cricket? arms. You know, I got cricket. I, I just sitting there. Oh, I got cricket too. Mine's just sitting there too. <laughs> Put all the crap stuff on. <laughs> That's why they named it that, because people buy them damn things and they just sit around and make no noise <laughs> for a long time. And all of a sudden, once in a while, they'll be noisy for a couple days, just like crickets outside. Y'all, I've been hyper-focused for the last 10 minutes on curling the bottom of my hair. Um, with my finger and that's what I keep looking down and doing, but it worked. And I just had to tell y'all because I realized I wasn't looking at the camera this entire time. Um, ADHD man, I need meds for it, but we'll get there. Um, maybe some snake venom. I heard that that was great for that. For hair curling? No, for ADHD. Oh, I was really excited for a second. I was like, really? I can put snake venom in my hair and it'll curl easier. (laughs) Like my hair is naturally curly, but I've, have maybe not been letting it be curly anyways um i really i really want to be albert's friend not me you on that so, solo trip okay speaking of trips for starters you can't hate me but we're gonna do a what oh, would you do you. question you ready for this? What would you do? Now you got to hear the whole thing. All right. All right? And I'm going to tell you when to answer. So shh. Until I tell you, okay? So. Let's say I knew where there were diamonds, gold, and emeralds. Okay. It's going to cost you four and a half million dollars to get to it, but it's worth seventeen billion dollars. In your opinion, is that an investment worth it? Four million for seventeen million? Seventeen billion. Seventeen billion. Oh hell yeah. Well it depends on how what I gotta do to get to it. Like if I could if I can map it out to where I can, like, guarantee I won't kill myself trying to get to it, then I'll give it a try. Well, that's why it's going to cost $4 million because you would hire a professional crew. Um, now, you would have to go with that professional crew, but to make sure they didn't sue your $17 billion. Um, but you would hire a professional crew to ensure your safety. But that's why it will cost you $4 million to get to. You going to get it? Hell yeah. All right, so what if I told you that you had to take a crew of, like, 35 people with you? You still going to get it? We're going to get there. Crew of 35 people, you still going to get it? Why Why we need 35 people? We'll get there, but let's say no. your crew is 35 people. Are you still going? Like, because we have to pay all them 35 people this is, this no, is that's part of up. that's part of the money. That's part of the four million. Oh, that's part of four million. All right, I, I, I'm on the fence. Maybe we can start. You know, hit me with something else. I can tell you if I'm gonna pull out or not. All right, it's located around Colombia, South America. Hell no. You wouldn't spend the four million dollars to go get seventeen billion in South America. Yeah. That's where the Amazon is. I ain't going over there. No, you might not make it out in that some bitch. Sheena, did you just say the Amazon was located in Colombia? The Amazon forest. Wait, what is it? The, the one, ain't that the Amazon? No. The swamp thing that people go in and don't come back out of. I watch too many movies. What I'm swamp wrong, thing? I? Now you're starting to talk about Florida, it sound like. That's the swamp. Everglades is where people go in and never come out of. No, yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. The little I have no of, idea. No idea. Somebody listening knows. Well, let me Google it. Alexa, where's the Amazon? 
It's in South America, the Amazon Zero. It's the largest river. I had to th I had to think about it. I was like maybe I got my rivers um mixed up. Alexa, stop. So Alexa is giving me the address of corporate Amazon. Not no, the... I'm not mean like the Amazon that send you packages. I'm talking about the Amazon River. The, the, so the Amazon River and the forest and and so you've decided that you wouldn't go get it because that's where it is. Yeah, I'm not fucking so, with the Amazon. Okay, well then you you know what the story's not even important. We can just let it go. Why? No, I want to finish it. Like somebody, that's where it's at. The the emerald. No. It's not in the Amazon. Oh, if it's no. in the Amazon, I might go get it. Where is it? Is it in a cage? No, you got to make a decision right now. It's going to cost you. I'm going to tell you exactly what it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you four point five million dollars to go get this in Colombia. Well, around Colombia, but not in the Amazon. Um, and once you get it, it's. Seventeen billion dollars worth of gold, diamonds, and emeralds. It's not in the Amazon. I'm gonna just go ahead. Listen, if I can afford the forty four point five million, and it won't kill me to go on this expedition, then I probably will do it. I'm gonna just yes. say like that. I'll do All right. It. So you can great. So, me, I won't fucking die. I can guarantee you won't die. Um, and it's only 3,100 feet underwater. So it's not that deep into the water that we got to go to get it. Um, it's only going to cost us $4.5 million to go and we'll get $17 billion in treasures. So I will book our trip. Um, see, you did that shit on purpose. You <laughs> did that shit on purpose. Cause you know you had to tell me we had to go in our water to get it. <laughs> Fucking around with the water people. <laughs> so, but for real, there's a 316 year old ship that apparently sunk a long time ago, um, off the shore of Columbia. It's 3,100 feet down. It's gonna cost them about 4.5 million dollars to, you know, get to the wreckage and clean up the wreckage to get all of but they have already counted 17 billion dollars in emeralds gold and diamonds that will be recovered from the ship so it really makes me sad that you don't want to go make history with me well i hope all of them got life insurance i'm just saying some of them them 35 people somebody ain't coming back so Somebody it's more, it's way more than 35 people. people. I just know that you don't like large groups of people, so I just threw a number out there. It's way more than 35 people. That's why it's going to cost them so much. Because they're going to have to literally... People? Oh, for the cleanup? Yeah, to more or less keep somebody... You know, they got to have... For every person they have in digging through the wreckage and stuff like that to try to get it to pull up, they have to have somebody watching for safety and stuff like that. So there's it's a it's gonna take a big team of people to do it. Like who signs up to go underwater to pull up shit? You would do that. You would do that. You just want to go talk to some water people. I do, listen, and I know this sounds really stupid, guys, but like I was one of those kids that played the mermaid game in the pools, not because we were in a pool, but because I really thought I could grow up and be a mermaid and I could talk to fishies and I could have like starfish friends and you want a whole life underwater. I would. I mean, how much worse could it be than life up here on land? Right. I mean, I don't At least you. you ain't never heard of no drive-by water shooting. Yeah, because, like... Can't nobody set your house on fire underwater? I'm going to be a water people when I when I cross over and go on to heaven. Like, you can just sprinkle my ashes over a waterfall somewhere, and I want to go be with the water people. I'm just not going fucking with the water people while I'm still alive. Oh, so when you're dead, you want to be a water people. Mm -hmm. So when people come in the water by your waterfall, are you going to haunt them? Are you going to play jokes on them? 
Hell yeah. What kind of jokes you gonna play on the people? I'm gonna move that shit. So if I ever had to be a water people, not a water people, but if I ever had to, well, a race. Oh, that's true, Sherry. Sherry just came back and said, if race sharks happen, it's going to be a lot more deadlier <laughs> um, in the water. <laughs> but um, I want to be the person that, like, if, if if someone sprinkles my ashes on a lake and then like kids come out there to like go skinny dip in the lake, I want to be able to hide their clothes. That's what I want. That's the kind of tricks I want to pull. Yo, know, if um, they go down in the ocean, I want to be the one that like when they do the uh, snorkeling, not the snorkeling, like the, I want to say skydiving, but I know it's not skydiving, but when you dive in the water. When they come back up after they dive in, in the water to go, you know, sightseeing, and they're going to come back up, their boat going to be gone because I'm going to take that shit. Like scuba divers? Yeah, that's the word. Scuba diving. <laughs> you go scuba diving, you can come back up, and your boat going to be like five miles to the right, to the east, to the west, somewhere, because I'm going to move that shit. I'm going to push that shit all the way over there. You can come back up. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Oh, that kind of makes my day. <laughs> um. Well, and I'm going to be the person that just scares the crap out of them after they figure out their boat's far away. I'm just going to grab their foot and pull them under for just a second. And then right. let them come back up. And they're like, what was that? I'm going to take gonna all that really food fast. and put it in the water and be like, you should have brought pizza and coffee. <laughs> so those are all of our stories for today. But. We have a very serious wormhole this week, and I really want people to look into this one. So, what is it? The farming crisis across the world. Oh. Um, I know a lot of people don't pay attention to stuff like this because you know you just go to the grocery store and buy groceries. I never say people don't understand where the, the grocery store get their stock from. Right. Well, they get them from these farms. And these farms worldwide are struggling right now mm-hmm. to the they point where some of them are that... saying that they're about to shut down because the only thing that they can continue to do is the food for their own family. So if all the farms shut down, guys, I don't know if y'all know this, but you're required to get your own food. There's going to be a lot of skinny motherfuckers in the world. Um, and please ignore my dog in the background. She, for some reason, wants to go out front, even though she never goes out there. Um, she just decided that she wants to go out front. So anyways, yeah, um, I definitely want y'all to look into the wormhole. See what you can do about it. See if you're part of the problem. You know, I don't call nobody out. We don't discuss the wormhole, really. I just, I just want y'all to look at it. So. Y'all have a great day doing that. And me and Miss Sheena will be back at it again next Saturday. And guess alone. what? We're gonna alone. We're gonna be here together. Side by side next Saturday to do it. Mm-hmm. So I'm it's gonna, gonna be fun. Coffee. And yes. Anna's gonna go get me forty dollar pizza. No, um, but I'll get you something from Pizza Hut if you bring me personal my little pan? circles. Personal pan it brings back memories. Do you remember the personal pan pizzas from Pizza Hut? I don't even know if ours has the personal pan. The oh, Big really? New Yorker just came back though. That's not Do a real pizza. Do you remember the Big New Yorker? Ours is like the last Pizza Hut that you still go in and eat at. Oh, well, this shit has the personal thing. Well, long as I ate the deep dish, I can't stand the deep dish. Oh, Sherry said it does. It do got it. I don't know. I don't be. I I'm going to go eating. get your personal pan today. I'm going to go eat some bread. Y'all, oh, um, y'all have a great Saturday. If you got kids, have a great Easter as long as you celebrate. Yeah, it is Easter. Hi. I don't know my days no more. <laughs> Happy Easter. 
And if you need anything from us, we'll be around all day. Just hit us up. But oh, next week when you see us, we'll be together. Yeah, well, and sharing, or make sure you send our your email and I will be reaching out to you today or by tomorrow. Give me to tomorrow. Well, but she's on the road today. You. Remember, Sherry's yeah. on the road today, so she can email oh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I got um, you, Sherry. You can email I tomorrow or Monday. But yeah, we'll um we'll get that done and then with next week coming. Sheena's going to go ahead and share all that stuff onto the page today. Y'all get out there, get that side hustle startup guide. And we're going to go from there. Y'all have a great weekend. You have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.